Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to work uh, a little bit on the front end, and I, I will design the the login form so that in the next video we can make use of uh, Firebase authentication. And I think our application is getting our sh the shape. So behind the scene, I have worked on the order, on the product, and overview. So this is how it is going to look in design. The source code is also available on GitHub, of course. So going to the home page. Uh, here we have a getting a start. So if someone click on the getting a start, they should l be able to register or log in. Of course, we display our product here, but the user might have to log in so that they can see the history of what they have purchased, as well as some uh, other personal information or banking details. So here is the getting a start button. If you click on this one, it is not doing anything for now. So it should open a model window. So if I go to the documentation of the Bootstrap, I will search for model and we'll take some of their example and some of the codes they have. So this is one of the examples. So we will make use of this one. But of course I will check the large size option size we have we have we have model small large which you can add them later. Okay, first of all, let's come here and see if it worked. The first one I think it was a showing in the center of the page that is what we want on of this one yep this one so here is the code for the model i think you might know how to use this one so i will mm, come to the let's say okay i will remove some of the file which is open here and i'm going to the source i'm going to create another component here and uh, i will duplicate the hello world and give it a login that view name so this is going to contain all the model and login and the name is also going to be login so i will paste the code here which is for the model window this is all we have for now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to bind the the key to the button here the button is here if someone click on this one it should pop up the model window how you are going to bind that one here is how you do that one basically this is the old way but still we can use this one of course there are ways that you can do using the bootstrap using the vue.js for now i am going to bind this one to the navbar the navbar coming to getting sort here is the button if someone click on the this one it is going to submit the form so we don't have to submit the form the way you do this one is maybe you can make this an a link or an href link and we can add this one here so here is the id we can give it a login id target is the login id and when you go to the login page here and you will change this one to login also so this is going to be the login and if someone click on this one it should open this model window so now you have to include this one in your component where you are including that one either in the navbar or anywhere that that should be accessible so we will add that in the navbar so how you can make use of this one first of all you import it import and login from where it is going you are here and it is going to import current directory login that view and this is how you log in this one and of course whenever you use it here make sure you put a comma and you write the component and the components is going to contain all your component which component we use the login component so you save it for now and now you have to be able to access login here and you will come here let's say under the menu you will write the login and you will close it you save it and now it should work just fine if you click on the getting start it doesn't work so maybe it didn't compile it did compile so if we inspect element and see if everything is working just fine we have three errors here so let's inspect the errors so make sure that you have to refresh the page sometimes it cannot take the data between the last compile this time if i click on the getting start yeah it works just fine but but it is up there so what is the problem the problem is here 
if I come here the body of the page is going to say open model and the model is inside the nav that's why it is going to give you this little error so how you are fix you are going to fix this one so to fix this issue you have to add the the model in the home page so i will come and open the home page here i will duplicate this line of code and we will say we are going to reference to the component and then we are going to include the login component now in the product in the component object here i am going to say we need to use the login also so if you go to the navbar you can remove uh, the navbar the component from here as well as from here so we can remove them we save it and in the home page we have to use it so if i scroll up there here is where we are going to display the about here and then under that one we are going to say we use the login tag here now we have the login model here if i come to the application it is still displayed dark you refresh the page and now it should work just fine so if i click on the getting a start it should work just fine here is the model now what we can do is we can start adding some design to this one i think you can do that one i will do that behind the scene so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video thank you for watching